In this video, I'll be comparing Lovable versus Replit and telling you which of these AI tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, who they are for, and ultimately which one I would pick. So both of them are powerful AI powered platforms for building applications, but they do kind of do it differently. And in this video, I'll explain how each of them works. So first, let's go over Lovable. Lovable is best for non-technical users, early stage founders, entrepreneurs, and product teams looking to rapidly build MVPs, landing pages, and functional prototypes without extensive coding knowledge. It's very good at quickly generating visually polished front ends. In terms of approach, Lovable emphasizes a conversational chat-first approach where you describe your ideas in plain English and the AI generates the application's code both front and back end. It aims to make the development process feel like a dialogue and it prioritizes speed to a usable, visually appealing prototype. In terms of Lovable's key features, it has the natural language conversations, AI powered full stack generation, so again both front end and back end code, it allows for visual editing, real time collaboration, it has a GitHub integration, back end support, it integrates with Stripe so that you can easily add payment functionality, there's no setup required so it works directly in the browser, and you can do custom domain publishing. So in terms of the strengths and limitations of Lovable, the strengths are its speed, so it's extremely fast for prototyping and getting a functional MVP up and running, it's user friendly for non-coders, it has visually appealing defaults, and you have the code ownership, and its pricing is also a plus since they have a free plan for public projects, and even the pay plan is just $25 per month. Now the limitations for Lovable are the complexity handling, so it may struggle with highly complex logic or intricate UI customizations, the debugging loops, no built-in hosting, and the free tier does have some limitations, which is of course obvious, but it has 5 prompts daily. Now Replit on the other hand is best for developers of all skill levels, so from beginners to experienced, students, hobbyists and teams who want an all-in-one cloud-based development environment for writing, running and deploying code. It's great for learning, experimenting and collaborative coding. Replit's approach is a comprehensive online IDE, so an integrated development environment, that has strong AI capabilities integrated into its coding environment. While it can generate full applications from prompts, it also strongly supports a code-first workflow, assisting developers in writing, debugging, and refactoring their code. So the key features for Replit are the full-fledged in-browser IDE, multi-language support, so it supports over 50 programming languages, so the AI code completion, then it has an AI assistant slash agent, so a chat-based AI that can explain code, debug errors, generate code snippets, refactor code, and even generate entire apps or features from natural language descriptions. Then it has real-time multiplayer collaboration, built-in hosting and deployment, database integration, and you can code and deploy from your phone or tablet through the mobile app. Now its strengths are the all-in-one environment, the versatility, so it's suitable for a wide range of projects from simple scripts to full stack applications, the collaboration, learning platform and the built-in hosting. Its limitations are the production readiness for complex apps, so while Replit is capable, some users report limitations for truly large scale production grade applications, especially concerning scalability and customization beyond the core environment. Also the hosting licensing, so publicly deployed apps on Replit's free tier must use an MIT license, which may not be suitable for all projects. And private deployments often require paid plans. It also costs quite a bit for heavy AI usage and it is less design focused. So you can see they do have a free plan where you can have 10 development apps and besides that the payments are per user per month. So for example Replit Core is $25 per user per month. So which one should you pick? Lovable or Replit? I would go with Lovable if you are not a coder but you have a clear app idea and you want to get a functional good looking prototype quickly. Also if your priority is speed to a visually presentable MVP 
to validate an ID, if you want to own the generated code and potentially hand it off to developers later, and if your app needs integrations with common services like Superbase and Stripe, I would go with Lovable. Now on the other hand, I would go with Replit if you are a developer or even a beginner and want a full-featured collaborative in-browser coding environment if you plan to write and manage significant portions of the code yourself with AI as an assistant, if you need built-in hosting and deployment for your projects, and if you're looking for a platform that supports a wide variety of programming languages and project types, and also if you value real-time collaboration with your team members. So that concludes this comparison of Lovable versus Replit. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.